All right, let's get a check on your weather. Chris, about time we got some moisture here. It is. We are long overdue, and we're thankful to have a chance at some rain and snow coming into the picture. Check out temperatures here for the noon hour. Mostly 60s here on the eastern plains. A few places are a little bit cooler. Greeley, one of those, 48 degrees. or some colder air here in the South Platte River Valley. But look to the left of your screen. 13 in Jackson, 29 in Rock Springs, Wyoming. There is a cold front back there that will be racing in here over the next few hours. Chris Doherty, our weather watcher just south of Evergreen, is checking in at 51 degrees. Satellite and radar together, not too impressive at the moment. We have some scattered rain and snow showers developing on the western slope, but this caught my eye. Look at that right there, a lightning strike just outside of Wolf Creek Pass. There's enough cold air aloft creating enough instability that a few rogue thunder showers or thunderstorms absolutely possible in the high country as this system comes together. We have winter storm warning in the southwest. We have advisories for most all mountain areas along and south of Interstate 70 here in Denver. As with most all snowstorms, it's a pretty complicated uh, scenario here in the immediate downtown and points to the north and east. We should see a little bit of snow, but not enough to trigger an advisory. However, just a few miles west of downtown into places like Lakewood, Littleton and south toward Castle Rock, you do have a winter weather advisory we may see several inches of snow to pile up over a short period of time. Here's Futurecast. It's in motion. We'll see the rain and snow becoming a little more widespread in the higher elevations tonight. See the rain popping up here toward midnight. Some rain showers should develop uh, just around the midnight hour. That will quickly turn to snow as colder air rushes into the front range. Northeastern Plains, you could see some pretty steady rain for a few hours tonight before you turn over to snow. This is 5 a.m. It's about 4 or 5 a.m. till about 9 a.m. That is the window for the snowfall, but it may come down pretty hard at times. And then and here toward the noon hour, you see everything pulling off onto the southeast plains and southern Colorado. So it's a pretty fast system, but it may lay down a nice little blanket of snow in a short period of time. Here's a statewide snow totals. Take a look here. The highest in the central mountains and down in the San Juans, Metro Denver. Mm. It's a tough one because as you move from downtown Denver to the north and east, totals get lighter, but there's a huge gradient right along and west of I-25 where you could go from two and three inches to six, seven, eight, nine inches over a very, very short distance. So very typical snowstorm shaping up here for the front range. We have a few more degrees to go in a couple of areas. We'll top off 50s and 60s east and west, maybe a few 40s in the high country. Here's Denver's five day forecast. So we have those low 60s today. That cold front hits. The wind picks up tonight and Dominic only 38 tomorrow with some morning snow, but this thing is a fast mover. It'll be out of here tomorrow night. We clear out Wednesday and maybe a second shot of snow for your Thanksgiving. Uh, well, nice little roller coaster there. Oh, absolutely. Chris, thank you. Well, long way.